Welcome to Fishing the Midwest, where we take you to top fishing destinations close to home and show you some great ways to catch fish. actually originated a couple years ago. Joe Fredette and I got together. Joe actually hired me as a fishing guide a couple summers ago and we went out, we caught a bunch of walleyes, caught some bass, had a really good trip. And I actually ran into Joe last winter at a boat show. And we got to talking about fishing together again. And Joe said, hey, how about you come up to Lake Vermilion? We knew that coming into the day, we had two things working against us. Number one, the weather warmed up again. In the fall, typically the walleyes tend to bite better when the weather cools and stays cold. So we were battling a warming trend. And then right before we got on the water, a major storm came through. So um, again, a weather change kind of upset the cart a little bit. So we went out. We went from spot to spot to spot. We actually, I think, stopped on six or seven different spots. We have a fish, Joe. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Not much of a fish, though. You got him? Perch. It's a fat perch, though. And it's almost like a hunt. Uh, you, you just keep going until you find him. And today, it took us seven, seven different spots but on the seventh spot is where we got them all. And we decided to make a change. We had been using a slip sinker live bait rig with minnows. We decided to try crawlers and speed up our presentation, maybe try to trigger some more reactionary bites. We went to a plain snell on a bottom bouncer. Joe got bit almost immediately in this spot. Joe did a great job. He, he got that first big fish in the boat. God, they're pretty up in the north woods. Gorgeous color. Yeah, he is. There. Got him on your trailer hook. You must be living right. <laughs> there nice you go. Fish. You know, when your very first fish of the trip is a whatever it was, 24 inch fish, um, and you see more on the screen, right away you have your, you get, you get your hopes up and. There we go. Wow, it's a nice one. That is a beautiful Lake Vermilion wall. Nice and healthy too. Yeah, it is. Nice. Aggressive. Yep. Nice fish. We have a fish on, Joe. Excellent, excellent. But. I'm going to go out on a limb and say my fish is not going to be as big as your fish was. <laughs> but I'm okay. Want to grab the net, Joe? Yep, absolutely. I don't think he's... There he is. Oh, that's not a bad wall. Oops, I almost hit him off. There we go. <laughs> Went right through your hole. You got a hole in the net. Got a hole in the net. Hey. You got a walleye in the boat. That's, a, that's all that counts. <laughs> However it gets in. Go through the hole or not. Hey, did you notice how <laughs> your fish did not go through the hole? That is exactly true. It did not. My, why is it? <laughs> Maybe a little bigger. <laughs> well, we're just going to rip the hook on this one. He's got her deep. That's probably, what, a 15, 16? Uh, well, yeah. Frying pan one there, Yes, huh? it is. That's an eater one. All right. Nice job. A couple things are important to uh, the technique that we're using today. Uh, the first is fishing your bottom bouncer fairly vertically. You don't want to let a bunch of line out. If you do that, uh, that bouncer has a tendency to drag. And out here on Lake Vermilion, there's a lot of rock. And you let that bouncer get too far so that it's not stuttering on bottom, you're going to end up snagging. So 
fishing vertically, so we're using a heavy bouncer. We're using a two ounce rock runner bottom bouncer. Just a plain 42 foot snell, a couple of hooks snelled in, and a night crawler. A pretty simple presentation, but one that puts a lot of walleyes in the boat for us every year. What you got, Joe? I think I got another one. Oh, yeah? Good. Yep. Big as the last one? No, he's, uh, this one's smaller. Do we have a landing net in this boat? Here it is. One with the holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> We got him. Oh, we got him. <laughs> You'd think we'd never done that before. <laughs> Good job, Joe. We got to wrap them around a few times. Yeah, there you go. The method to the madness, Joe, yeah. is when your landing net has a hole, if you like flip Ra around the fish. <laughs> <laughs> got to wrap them up to get them. So you love right. this this North Country Lake Vermilion stuff, don't you? Absolutely. Look, I mean the scenery, right? Yep, it's remote. Uh, the fish are just as beautiful as the, as the scenery around it. And uh, it, it's just a great place to be. Great place to fish. It is, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, let's get another one. All right, throw them in a the box. Look at that When water. we come back, we'll have more North Country walleye nice. action. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Evinroot, the outboards that are changing everything. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. P-Line, because we fish. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. K-Drill Ice Augers, drilling ice will never be the same. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson FX dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher and Larson Escape. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Over the last 25 years, Offshore Tackle has dominated the freshwater trolling industry. For the next 25, we're not about to stop. Precision engineering. American reliability. And filling thousands of live wells. One board pullback at a time. Offshore Tackle. The obvious choice. My, my choice. choice. That's why Offshore Tackle has outperformed and outsold any other brand in history. Offshore Tackle is your leader in trolling technology. Another one, Joe. Yeah. yeah. You got the right spot that we're traveling. Well, it took us a while. Yeah, it took a while to find them. But you know what? That's fishing. You gotta, you gotta find them before you can catch them. But I think we found them. We, we found them. We're going over a lot of fish right now. Yeah, we are. We're marking them. Yeah. Yes, it, the, the action was fast and, and, and furious. Uh, Mike got us on a spot where we had three waypoints. And, and we maintained those three waypoints in, in a line. And when we got off, we'd circle back. And right back when we got on top of those waypoints is when the fish came. Nice one, stinked pan. Janine, 
didn't have to wrap them up either. Nope, he came off right Perfect. in the net. Perfect. And I'm guessing that right there is 15 inches worth of fry pan gold. All that gold. Yep. Perfect. Right at Perfect. Nice yeah. fish. Yep. Nice fish. All righty. Man, we are on it. Joe's a good friend, good fisherman, and he has an inspiring business story too. He and his dad started a cabinet design business in 1999 that has grown into a very successful company. Not only did he teach me how to build cabinets in those first six months, but he taught me a lot of lessons in life that uh, I never got a chance to spend one-on-one -on -one with my dad because I was the youngest of eight. From that point on, I actually hired my first employee and uh, grew it from just us, uh, us two. My dad obviously was no longer uh, in the business from us to up until what we are today. So we, we transformed ourselves or morphed ourselves into an architectural millwork company. And what that means is it's uh, doing work with general contractors in the commercial environment, commercial world. And then in 2012, what I did is we, we actually purchased a building in Foley, Minnesota. And I moved my business from, from where I was previously to, to Foley, Minnesota. And today, um, we're at, we'll finish 2017 and what, $16 million in sales. Running a successful, expanding business is certainly stressful, and Joe uses fishing to relieve some of that stress. Mine doesn't feel very big. How's yours? Uh, that feels pretty good. Mine's a little guy. Oh, yeah. You are the man. Yeah. Get lucky once We're in a while. We're kind of drifting over it though, aren't we? Yeah. Sorry about that. That's right. There you go. Good job, Joe. Uh, fishing for me is uh, a relaxation. Um, some people might lift weights, some people might do yoga. For me, it's being on a boat or it's being on the ice. Gah! Another nice one. Yep. Fat, fat, fat. Beautiful color. Yep. Nice work. Absolutely. All right. uh, it's it's solitude it's where I can make my best decisions for my business is when I have no one else around I'm by myself and that's what I like about up here because you are truly almost by yourself hey Joe yeah I want to grab the net uh Not, he's not your size. <laughs> Can I get him through here? Yeah, absolutely. He'll probably go through the net again. I'll try and wrap him up. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Man. That's a nice fish. Yeah, they are right where we want them to be. And you know what? Like I said before, when you can come to a body of water, and catch fish of that size. That's probably, what, 17, 18 inches? Yep. Catch fish of that size, and you always got a chance. That next hook set, hook set might be the walleye of a lifetime. That's a nice fish, Mike. On this trip, we stayed at the Glenmore Resort. Glenmore has clean, comfortable cabins in a very scenic environment. Visit their website to learn more. Joe, we have a fish. You need the net? I think we may need the net on this okay. one. Coming up. I don't think he's a monster, but he's a, I think it's the nicest one I've had today. I'll try not to lose it for you. <laughs> but that's not saying much, because I haven't had very many. Wow, I thought he was bigger than Yeah, but well, they put up a good fight. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I told you, it's hard to tell when you don't get much practice. Still though, a nice frying pan walleye. Yes, it is. With, it, with today's electronics, it makes it more interesting to see what actually is below the boat and to know that there is something uh, underneath you that you have the potential to get. Let me know if you need me. It should be all right.
didn't feel like that. And it's about building memories and creating memories. For me, creating memories is so important in this hustle and bustle world that we do. Um, it's cell phones, it's iPads, it's emails, and it's nonstop. So what's important is, is to get everybody together and, and, and block all that out and enjoy the time together. Yes, sir. Pretty. Special thanks to Jarek from Rod's Bent Guide Service on Lake Vermilion for his help on this trip. If you're looking for a top guide on your next Vermilion trip, be sure to get in touch with him. Visit the website rodsbent.com to learn more. When we come back, it's multi-species action on the weed line. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tech, made by fishermen for fishermen. Hanes Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanes Marine. Ray Marine Marine Electronics. Ray Marine, simply superior. Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. You know guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really have to tie one on. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best-in-class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. how this day came about. I've known Shane Gazelle for several years. He works at a bait shop where I actually guide out of. And Shane and I, well, he's a bona fide fish head just like me. We had a day off and we wanted to go catch some fish together. Got one? Yep. Yeah. Good? Good, are you? They're usually pretty good in here. Well, they're gonna come bigger though. Yeah. We both love, well, we love to catch all species of fish, but we really like to catch bass, and so we went to a lake where we had been experiencing a really good largemouth bass bite this summer. Well, lo and behold, severe cold front hit the night before. We dabbled around, threw some jigs around for a while, and caught a few fish, but not the numbers and not the size we wanted, so we made a switch. So our switch involved changing lakes, changing tactics. We went to a lake that's got a bunch of different species of fish. So what we decided to do is go what we call dabble the weed line. We downsized to small baits. We were using lightning shabs on small jig heads, just a dynamite combination. We like the electric chicken color. 
for some reason, we're kind of in off stained dirty water, and that brighter color does a good job of attracting those fish. Shane? I think that looks like a good one. You can catch all them bluegills if you want. I'll just catch these. Is that okay with you? Sounds good to me. We dabbled. We got right up into the weeds, because here's what happens. Weed line fish, lots of times when the weather's stable, those fish will move out off the edge. But during a front like we had today, those fish will tuck up into the weeds. So that's where our location was, right up tight to the weeds. We got a crappie. And a boy. Not a big one. Is a crappie? You went to that white, huh? Yep. White too. So we got up tight to the weeds. We got in a weed line that we fished before. We know there's some fish around. Our primary species that we really wanted to catch was some crappies. This lake's got some giant crappies. I have a good crappie. That is a good crappie. I mean, he's not a monster, Shane. That fish, hit it kind of swam off with it like a bass. Oh, that's fun. Out on the weed line in the summer. Look how thick he is. I catch fish that resemble me, Shane. Is that what it is? That's a little guy. Little guy. But. Line crappie. Hold back. And that's what I like. So Shane reels down on this fish. Well, he's not even sure it's a fish. He thinks it might be a weed. And then all of a sudden his line moves to the side and the fish never really bit. But you know, one of the things about the weed line is everything lives there. But it was a walleye and it was a pretty nice walleye. There you go. Good work, my friend. Nice wow. Net, nice net job. <laughs> <laughs> Another species that we added to our weed line catch. You caught the skinniest walleye. Really Look how skinny that fish is. That is incredible. Well, you know why he ate. Yeah, he's hungry. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Let's get him back, huh? Yep. All right. Weed line walleye. We'll have more fishing from the weed line when we come back. Fishing in the Midwest is made possible by Strike King, tie one on. Vexilar, own the ice. Core Ice, built for life the way you live it. Beckman Nets, beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Beckman Nets are back, and that's going to make lots of fishermen very happy. Beckman Nets are the best for both the fishermen and the fish. Beckman's coated nets are fish friendly to ensure the release of fish's safety. Beckman nets come in handle lengths up to 9 feet, and the one-piece yoke is incredibly durable, while the quick connect channel allows for an ultra-fast connection of the handle to the yoke, and the features go on and on. If you need a new net, and if you don't have a Beckman, then you need a new net, check them out at participating fishing tackle dealers. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there is no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. 
distinctive cabinet design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon, yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity. And premium fluorocarbons, including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. Crappy. Might be a big bluegill. Bluegill. Pretty good bluegill. As I said, our technique today is we're dabbling, and dabbling is small baits. We're using the Wally Marshall Lightning Shad. That bait's got a just a seductive action in the water and it fishes really good on light line and either ultra light or medium light rods and reels. We're using four pound floral clear line from P-Line. That does a great job for invisibility so the fish can't see it, but also the baits have a nice action on that light line. Crappy? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh yeah, there we go. Good job, Shane. That's a good crappy there. That's a good one there. Better than You know what, Shane? We're fishing along the edge of the weeds, and in the weeds, we can see the fish. And when you see them, just like any other species, walleyes, whatever, you see them on the depth finder, odds are pretty good you got shit out of catching one of them. Good job, buddy. It was Ray Marine sonar do a great job of showing us fish. We could see the weeds, and we could actually see the schools of fish in the weeds, and we assumed that they were crappies. There's some bluegills in there, but we found what we were looking for. Better one. You got a good one, Shane? Better one here, yeah. There you go, buddy. Nice. Yep. All in all, a really fun day. But again, adapting, changing lakes, changing species and changing spots. You keep those tips in mind, hey, you can have great days on the water even when the conditions aren't ideal. We encourage you to check out Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. From there, you can sign up for the new Fishing the Midwest Real Times newsletter where you can get entered to win Fishing the Midwest t-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. Plus, we'll keep you updated on all things Fishing the Midwest. In addition to Facebook, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all our TV episodes and how-to fishing videos. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.